this is Janice and I would like to show you how you can do basic editing in um, YouTube. Uh, the features are very, very limited though, but if you do want to know how to edit it, edit it yourself, you can. Um, so let's head over to your YouTube channel. This is what you it will look like when you are in your channel. And I want you to click, uh, you, for you it will be Creator Studio because I've switched to the um, permanently to the beta version. So click into your Creator Studio. Okay, you're logged in now. Okay, so basically I'll just go into the Creator, Creator Studio Classic so that you will know what I'm talking about. So it will switch to the Creator Studio Classic for me. So this is a new version, okay? All right, so you, what you will see here is what uh, the Creator Studio will look like, uh, the original version of it. And for you, um, before we could uh, proceed further, you want to um, add a video. So if you want to upload a video to YouTube, you just click on this little icon right here on your top right. And it says upload video so you can upload your video um, in this um, page and because you if you are not finalizing your video yet you would want to put it as private unlisted is it will not be shown to public but um, is it will only be available to those who has a specific link so it will not be publicly in your video in your youtube channel private will be only shown to you and the viewers that you choose so i will just if you don't want anybody to see at all just stick to private and you upload your files i created a short example video just for this purpose okay i'll upload a video so this will be your video that you want to upload and then we'll, we'll just wait for maybe i don't know I don't know how long, probably a few seconds. And while this is processing, you can add your description. Okay. And once it's done, it says processing done. And then you click done. So this will add into your video manager with all the other list of videos. So you go into, let me just have a look around. Return YouTube beta. We'll just go into your YouTube beta for now. All right. Ah, uh, there's a grass cutter outside. It's going to be really loud. But once it starts going, I would have to pause the video and record it once they are done. Um. Okay, so I'll just switch back to the Creator Studio Classic, okay, so that you know what I'm talking about again. Um, okay, so once you're in here and your video is all uploaded already, I would like to tell you that YouTube uh, has removed its video editor in September of 2017, and now just recently they've just put it back on again. It used to be under Create and it used to be under here video there was a little thing that says video editor but now it's been moved into the studio beta and that's why i want you to get into that right now just to click into it so once you click into this link it will bring up the new version of your um of your studio your creator studio okay so this is a newer version and and then you want to click to videos and under videos you'll find that your your video that you've just uploaded okay so it's under private so it says video only visible to you and the viewers you select so you click on your video and then under analytics so here editor this is where you can edit your video Okay, um, just a quick tip. Please do your editing first um, before you do the video because if you do clip little sections of your video and then 
the music will be all chopped up and it will not run smoothly so i hope you know what i'm trying to say here so just make sure you edit all your video first before you upload your music okay i'll show you how to trim the video right now so if you want to start trimming your videos you can all you have to do is click trim first all right and then you find the section where you want to trim so you start playing your so audio this is just a short video of me so that i could uh, do this example for diane okay let's say you want to start the trimming from here so you once you know where you want you click split and then you start playing again um hopefully this will be really helpful for you okay and i want to stop right here so this whole section let's say this whole section i do not want it so all you have to do is hover your mouse over this white line and then you bring it you just i said i don't want this one so i'll just i'll just remove this section and then i hit preview to play back again okay so if i want to hit preview i could just play again without this actual part. Well, this is just a short video of me so that I could uh, do this example for Diane. So I'm just going to stop this video right now. Okay. So do you see what I'm trying to, uh, to say here? Now, I don't want to hit save because once I hit save, I want to be able to... Um, it will take me a few hours before I can show you how I can put the video in. So once you've finished everything like the editing then you hit save because it will take a long time for it to save for you to start editing again so do all your little editing like okay let's say i want to add trim here i'll edit edit trim okay and then try it go over it again and then preview okay do not hit save until you know that that is what you want and finalize okay um unless if you're if you're wanting to go to the toilet or you want to go somewhere then you hit save and then it, you know probably come back for a couple of hours it depends also on how long your video is um one time i think i had my video i was like about almost an hour long so when i hit save i was hard to go back and it was uh, it took a long time for it to actually update the whole thing um so just is just a, a tip for you if you do want to edit your videos um please do remember that Okay, now I want to I want to try to add my audio into this, so I'll just click the um, plus button plus audio. It is very very tricky. I tried this for a long time, and it's very limited what you can do. Okay, so but no, for those just a short video for me right. so that I could. Okay, so if you do want to place an audio, you will, can only use the audio from YouTube channel. This is the list of tracks that they provide. Uh, you can freely use this for your videos because you, and if you do use it, you will not run into any other copyright issues. But if you do use your own audio, do make sure that your um, audio is royal, royalty free. So you will not um, run into copyright issues with uh, YouTube. And yeah, so if it's not, uh, it's not free to use youtube will not show your video unless you give credit to the actual musician that created the, the audio itself so if i do want to add an audio um youtube will not allow you to add your own your own personal audio unless you have your own video editor like um uh, like filmora okay so if you don't add your audio you can go through the list um i found one quite cute so i'll just type happy and press enter and put trendy trace pro but at this uh, actually um youtube has lovely audios so i don't see why you can't do it so all you have to do is click add to video and um <clears throat> So, you see now because it says favor music 
it is only playing the actual audio but not with my voice in it so you need to drag this right to the end okay so the music is softer Hello, and you can hear my voice okay so if you try Okay, so it's harder to hear. So right at the end. Hello, this is just a short video. Okay, so it's very very limited. I'm just telling you now that the the limitations of editing your audio is very limited in YouTube, but it's there for you if you need it. Um, this is a cheap way for you to actually edit your videos without uh, buying a uh, special software like Filmora. Um, so if you do want to add your video, just make sure the length of your um, audio will fit the length of your video because it will not allow you to actually um, put in extra different audios if you do need like an overlap of a different audio, a different music, you know. Let's say your video is around like one hour long, but you only have like two minutes of uh, audio. It will only stop at two minutes and won't allow you to actually add a different, uh, another set of audio. I've tried that before, it's hard. Maybe there might be a way around it. I haven't have had the time to actually explore that yet. But um, I'm just telling you now, just make sure your the length of the audio is about the same or more than the length of your video okay hope that makes sense okay um okay i'm quite happy with that we'll try again so make sure you put this little thing right at the end okay so you can hear your your voice hello this is just a short video of me so that i could uh, do this exam all right so we'll just add the save changes when you save changes uh, it will get into your video editor, but so it will take some time for it to actually um, save into your editor. Okay, so we'll just keep click uh, save changes if you're happy with that. While edits are processed, users will continue to see the current version of your video. Okay, so it's here. We just click inside again inside the vi uh, your video, and then we'll click editor and see if it's the audio is actually inside your video so okay see this this is what i'm trying to say here i cannot i'm not able to edit extra bits and pieces because uh your video is being processed so you need to come back and check back later well i have to come back again once um once it's all um loaded inside oh it's done already. It's done already. Okay, we'll try again. Hello, this is just a video of me so that I could uh, do this example for Diane. Um, hopefully, this would be really helpful for you. So, I'm just going to stop this video. Okay. That so was a success. Okay, it was quite good, I think. Um, now in Filmora, there's a section part where you can even edit the audio, lower the vo lower the audio volume, add more audios, trim the audios. But here, it's not even giving me that option at all. So it's very very limited. So it's a basic editing. I think it's still very useful for those who want to make a quick edits. Um, but I don't think I've actually saved the changes of um, the, remember, remember the trim that we did? I don't think I've actually saved that. So it did not remove the part that we removed earlier um, because I didn't save it. Okay, just let me see whether, let me try to trim it and see if it's working. Um, We'll just try again. So what you once you want to uh, trim it, so click trim, and then go to the area that you want to uh, to delete. Yeah. Okay. And then um, we'll click split. We'll play again. Find out for Diane. Okay. And then we'll 
let's say I want to remove this whole section. You just remove, click, hover your mouse over this white line and then just bring it down like that. And then preview. So we can preview from here. Um, do you see what I mean now? Now, that's the reason why I want you to actually do your editing first. All right. Once you edit your video, you click saved. Okay. And once you save your video, then only add your audio. Okay. In summary, you need to upload your video, put it to private. And after uploading, go to the uh, Creator Studio and then head over to uh, Try Beta Studio. All right. Once you do that, you go into, uh, click the video that you've just uploaded. Once you just click your once you've clicked your video you've just uploaded, you <clears throat> go into edit editor, okay, and that's where you edit your video, and then do your video editing editing, click saved, wait for I don't know a few minutes, come back again, um, and then add your audio, and once you add your audio you adjust to the volume that you want, click save changes, and then come back into the video editor again and to check everything's okay and then click save again so that's all you have to do um it's quite simple i think it's quite simple it's just you just know what to do first so that you do not uh do my earlier mistakes that i've made okay so i hope that makes sense um hope that it's not too complicated for you anyway once you've done all that and you've finalized your video and you've saved um, and once you're ready you can head over to videos and it will bring up the list of videos here and then click to uh, this little arrow button and uh, click as public and remember to save um, another option is you can also schedule as public if you want to schedule on a certain day and time you can do that in your local time or depending on who are your viewers and who are your audience are usually my audiences are usually from the US so I'll try to um, schedule it to their Eastern Standard Time it's quite a popular um, t uh, time zone so I usually will schedule that um, and then yep and click save and that's all you have to do to make your video public if you enjoyed this tutorial do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to be updated of new tutorials thanks for watching and have a great day bye